हेलो इंटरनेट एंड वेलकम टू द थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ डीप फ्राइड न्यूरॉन्स द पॉडकास्ट इट इज अ पॉडकास्ट अबाउट स्टोरीज दैट आई योर होस्ट फाइन एक्सट्रीमली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई ऑलरेडी already cheated you there because um today i don't have a story to tell you <laughs> i mean technically it is a story but it is not you already know the facts of this uh, story um basically i read this book called uh, hitler's table talk and it's just me riffing about what hitler thought about jews and russians and uh, intellectuals and you know everybody villainize in the nazi propaganda so i don't fucking know <laughs> um oh by the way before before somebody takes it out of context yes hitler was bad he what he did was completely disgusting and wrong just wanted to go on record there for uh, context and um yeah cue the fucking um in quentin tarantino's inglorious bastards christopher waltz's character a uh, colonel ss lander quite accurately summarizes uh, hitler's feelings towards jews mm. while interrogating the frenchman uh, for holding uh enemies of the state christopher waltz gives this analogy about um what certain race of people certain races of people have a uh, common with uh animals and he says if there's any attribute that the jews share uh with an animal with a beast uh it's that of a rat and they're capable of amazing feats once they abandon dignity and the nazis have a lot in common with the eagles and then he goes on to say how uh, rats are distasteful and uh, if a rat entered it won't be greeted inside the frenchman's house however a squirrel would be and any biting or a disease to be carried with the uh, by the squirrel and rat uh, by the rat could be easily carried by the squirrel uh, but it's not the same amount of hostility that we treat these two with and um, i sort of found more and more proof the more i read from hitler's table talk In this book Hitler talks a lot about uh communists, uh international capitalists, uh intellectuals, liberals and his enemies in general and specifically the Jews. And um before uh, I go on in uh, any detail about the book I would like like people to note uh this because that's what's very interesting about this book. Um when Hitler came into power one of the first things he did was uh, do a clean and as drive mostly because he was a very obsessive person when it came to cleanliness and neatness there are clear records of uh, like like uh, his secretary is telling later on that he was a man who used to wash his hands quite often uh, like to eat his meals very in a very clean environment on very clean tables and one of the first things he did after he came to power is uh, beautification of industries uh, renovating hospitals cleaning everything uh, that there was to clean in general he ran as a public health freak one of the first things that uh, his his fan base was supported by uh, supported uh, by w- one of the first moves that his fan base supported uh, in his entire venture was the fact that this guy was making people's lives healthier and later on uh, that that that's what made made them surrender all this power uh, with the anger that they trusted him with it because of these uh, beautifications and um uh, how efficiently the the weapon factories were running and everybody was getting jobs and that's exactly what germany needed at the time so while you read uh, hitler's table talk you realize that this guy had big plans for germany his first was uh, to take over europe all of europe and then go to war with the russians it is very clear to me that uh hitler's main enemy was never britain or france it was it was very clearly the russians whenever he talks about the communists he talks about them as the pests who are the arch nemesis of nazism or the german way 
and it's sort of how he's advertised his entire campaign as well as somebody who's completely against um, the russians and then he goes on to talk about the jews in one of the excerpts uh, about the question of the jew uh, he says that he's being extremely like in retrospect he's being extremely kind to the uh, to the jews because uh, when the popes ran the world in 1830s uh, jews were paraded on donkeys so that the entire city of rome could throw their trash onto the jew on the donkey and he's not doing that he's just asking them to leave and uh, it is great that people think we're exterminating them because that sort of means that we don't have to deal with them anymore overall uh, hitler believed that what he was doing essentially was very kind to the jews and it's not kindness they they deserved he also mentioned that uh, there is not not a big number of them but there are jews who have acted correctly in order to promote the german ideals but their number is very less but their crimes are that they haven't stopped their like people of their race so to speak when they oppose the german idea and then comes the interesting part which is also like drawn from eichmann in jerusalem uh, another book about eichmann one of the people who was in charge in uh, getting rid of the jews they were in the gas cham- chambers they were using something called zyklon i'm not sub- uh, sure a or b but whichever it wa- it was uh, it it didn't smell very bad that sort of what uh, was particularly peculiar about this uh, gas that didn't smell very bad which is why they didn't know they were choking to death now zyklon b uh was also the pe- pesticide he used in the beginning of his reign uh to clean out the hospitals and the industries and um public spaces so that they're they're away from pests and orderly and clean so overall what what is very very well conclusive from hitler's table talk is that this guy wasn't angry as it's mostly understood at least i've understood from the history books uh, that germany had lost a war or that you know germany was in peril it wasn't just anger when hitler talked about uh, jews mostly in his table talk when the guards were off and his secretaries were just taking notes of when the gu- the guards were off he talked with disgust as in they're not humans they're less than humans uh something something to eliminate something that does not re- deserve to exist at least that's what i understood from him and that's why uh he killed them like pests in large numbers uh in a place instantly ending them like they were pests and rodents and the larger picture is that hitler was disgusted by the existence of jews and he would talk about them as rodents and pests and insects but in the end he disposed off of them with the same amount of disgust now this has been said before but um it's very interesting to me that hitler gained power because a lot of these horrible things he said uh, off when the guards were off um in a private audience he said them on mic as well i mean the rodent analogy is everywhere like uh this analogy that christoph waltz uses in the movie it's not new it's it's borrowed from one of hitler's speeches so given how hard uh things were in uh, po- post world war 1 germany it was it was sort of like that hitler was the collective manifestation of the unconscious evil of the german people i mean we all have it i'm not i'm not judging people from the time actually i kind of am but the reason he rose to power is because he capitalized on the fact that people were angry at at the circumstances not necessarily at the english or the french or the jews or the polish they were just angry and all they understood was acting out of emotion and hitler offered somebody to hate and somebody to get rid of the communists and the jews and that's all they needed for then and that's sort of why 6 to 9 million people died like they were pests i know this is one of the is just something i've been thinking about for weeks 
how he came to power and what exactly happened in there and i'd like to believe that some of these soldiers and men were i don't know but overall whatever your opinion about hitler is um i mean i hope it's a negative one maybe out of anger out of spite whatever he acted on um it was it was disgust especially about the jews i don't know about the russians but it is terrifying to think a human is capable of that and we must remember that's what he was a human uh in the end and um he ran a very successful holocaust that killed about 6 million of the people he intended to kill okay gang that's it for this week i hope you at least were mildly interested in what i had to say about adolf hitler um i don't know i mean i'm just experimenting here is it's it's the kind of content i think is is relevant and worth talking about but you can disagree and that's fine just let me know in the comments if you want more of these and like i would next week for sure we're bringing another story to you and uh, for those who are interested in knowing how i uh, came across the book yes your doubts are right uh, i saw the h3 podcast with jordan b peterson in it and he was talking about this book so i read it and i found it extremely interesting and i found it so interesting that i felt like i should talk about it and now we're here <laughs> Anyway, hit like on the video if you enjoyed, uh repost it if you're on SoundCloud, suggest it to your friends. Um iTunes, I hope I'm I'm already on you because it's been 2 weeks. Please. Please. <sighs> And um uh subscribe to the YouTube channel, subs- uh, follow me on SoundCloud. whatever you're listening uh, do the needful um we have dank memes on our social media facebook and instagram uh, links down in the description and uh, if you want to support the channel financially which i know is ambitious um the patreon is open and um that's it for now thank you see you next week